Hi, and welcome to our YouTube channel, Soaring Together. In today's video, we're going to show you Ricky removing our old hitch from the Freightliner, and then we'll go over a few things about the installation of our new ET hitch. And welcome again to our YouTube channel, Soaring Together. We're so glad that you all have uh, joined us on our journey as we travel the United States. And for those of you who have not subscribed to our channel, please hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our journey as we're soaring together. Well, this morning it is raining, so Ricky um, is working on the hitch, taking the old hitch off. So currently, this is his setup. Since it's raining and he doesn't have a garage to put the truck in. Some of these are so tight that I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to fire compressor. <laughs> I thought that would be the easy part, but. So the bolts are on there pretty tight, huh? Uh, they're not pretty tight. They're very tight. Well, that's a good thing. Is it? You got two of them off? I got four of them off. But I mean, that's a good thing that they were tight, at least. At least. We were protected going down the road. Oh, yeah. That's one. They were on there tight. Yeah. So you got to take this off, and then you've got to cut the weld on that plate. And you'll set the new hitch down on that plate. Well. What, will you bolt it to that plate? Theoretically, that's how it's supposed to work, but I think I'm going to need three inches. Um, so you'll have to get another plate? Tube or channel or something. Mm. So... We have a friend down the road that has a welding shop, and hopefully next week he'll be able to help Ricky if he needs some welding done. I really don't have to weld nothing on it, yes, but... But you have to cut holes through that metal plate. Yeah, they, there's already holes in it, but I don't think they will line up. Try to be nice today. Roll some folks out trying to What can you do if you got the tires? Most of I don't think this thing's gonna be very heavy though. You don't think? I don't think so. Well I could be gravely mistaken. I think you need to put Ooh. Did you tighten your stomach muscles before you pick that up? I want to tighten my butthole. <laughs> well, that one's off. Well, Well's the easy water. part's off. Now, he's got to break the weld right here <laughs> along the bottom. A torch would be real nice. You don't have a torch? Uh, no, I don't have a torch. Not since I worked in a rock quarry. Right now, it's about 3.22 on the afternoon of May the 28th, and Ricky's delivery from FedEx was supposed to be here today. However, I looked at the tracking uh, about an hour ago, and there was an exception on the tracking. So we called FedEx um, Express, our FedEx Freight, and they said, uh, yes, the delivery date was today, but they have to make an appointment uh, before they can make the delivery. And no one told us that. So, um, yeah, they were, I guess, going to call us sometime this afternoon to let us know. But now, since Monday is a holiday, 
they will not be making the delivery until Tuesday. Ricky has the um, old hitch off the truck now. The head of it off. There's still part of the um, metal framing, uh, handmade, homemade, I guess it was, um, framing that has to be cut off. So he's going to uh, borrow a cutting torch from my brother and get that cut off from the um, steel plate that goes across the bed of the truck. I guess that's what you call it. I guess, ma'am, that's what I call it. This thing right here is a steel plate. So he's got to cut all of that off. And then he has to put probably about a three inch rise on it before you drop three the hitch in there. Right here, it's four, I don't know. So got to decide what kind of three inch plate he's gonna bolt to that. But anyway, the new hitch is in the making. Um, and hopefully we'll get it done maybe by the end of next week and then our new trailer is supposed to be all the final PDI inspections completed by the 19th of June and so everything's just moving along you need 51 inches from the ground yes yeah I need how are you on the 51 inches from the ground okay that's 42 and Fourth. What? Forty-two and a fourth. Okay. Forty-two and a fourth. Okay. So forty-two and a fourth. Nine more inches. Yeah. So I need nine more inches. Yeah, but. You're 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 measuring the bed. You got to measure where the plate's at. So that's forty-two to the top of the bed. Yeah. From here. Yeah. But that looks like the truck's going downhill. It's tilted that way a little bit, but not enough. Forty-two from here. And then I need nine more inches. Right? The hitch is 12 inches. Yeah. From that plate. From this plate? From the big plate, yep. From the bottom? Huh? From the bottom plate or this plate? The bottom plate. It ain't gonna be bolted there. It's gonna be bolted that plate down there. So it's gonna be 12 inches. To the top of it. Yeah. So how much more do you need to get to 51 inches? About five inches. It's 35 inches. 35 to what? To the top of that plate right there. Oh. So how many more inches do I need? 16. So I take off 12 for the hitch. It's going to be up 12. Four so or five inches. Four inches. You put five, it's going to be 52. Good morning. We, we are on our way to Paris to my brother's house where he is going to use his cutting torch. And what are you going to be cutting off the truck? Some Chamar brackets that was made for the fifth wheel hitch that's welded to the main plate.
So today we have brought Iron Horse down to get the hitch installed. Ricky uh, not having the proper lift to be able to lift the hitch. It's about 500 pounds. Uh, so we have hired someone to do this for us. And um, so he will be adding some tubing to raise it the four inches that we need and bolting it down to the um, plate and getting everything hooked up for us. So we're excited. We got the new hitch installed, pick up, picked up the truck this morning. And now Ricky is underneath. He has to find which air hose or airline, airline he's gonna hook the airbags up to. This hitch has airbags in it. What you doing? Uh. <sighs> I needed four inches to get the right height for my trailer. So therefore, we had a couple options. We could either put the channel, the took the four inch tube under the base plate and put it back on it. So he just chose to put the four inch channel. I mean, not the four inch channel, the four inch tube on top, welded some angle arm to the side of it, or you could bolt the hitch down. He also put some clips on the inside, bolted and welded them down. Uh, it was, it, he done an excellent job in getting it all put together. Now, the only problem I had is I didn't realize the line wasn't hooked up to the airbag. And they don't hook it up from the factory because... To keep from breaking it off, which I've, you know, makes sense. I understand that completely. Because in uh, shipment, it could break it. Had a brain shortage in what should have happened. So this is it. The heat... E.T. hitch is installed. Yeah. Are you smiling? <laughs> I wouldn't find a long go. Thinking about getting a piece of uh, this ain't this ain't much pumpkin. Getting a piece of thread plate and put it right across diamond here. Diamond plate. Diamond plate, thread plate, diamond thread plate. Put it right across here. Kind of close up that hole. But this is handy that, that you're able to take this off, right? Uh, yes, it is, but it's also flimsy right now. The wells are broke. But you took it off when you changed the rear end oil? Yes, grease. Yes. So it was easier to pour the oil from the top. Yes, it was. Take this thing off. And how did you know thing that? Off. Oh. Because you told me. <laughs>
I understand now you're going to take the bottom screws out and screw them to this and put the plate in there. Okay. Does that pass your uh, inspection? Yeah. Oh, There's only one problem. This one's shiny and this one's dull. Well, I can, it won't be shiny real long, but I'm going to clean this up. <laughs> See how much thicker that is than this? Yeah. It's a whole lot better stuff, but... With, with that other thing under there, it's gonna make it more sturdy. Right? Right, partner? My partner in crime? In case y'all don't know, I love my wife. <laughs> oh, this is what's under all that. The air tank. And all these hoses, all these wires. Oh, those are wires. That's electrical right there. It goes to all these lights. But then you got the air tank and the axle that goes across there. A lot going on under there. Some of our subscribers that have never met us in person may have noticed in this video of Ricky uh, working so closely with his hands that his right hand, um, he does have an issue. He had an accident 31 years ago. Um, that accident actually almost took his life. He uh, lost his thumb and part of his right hand. He also had facial injuries and within the next year, he um, had a total of 12 surgeries and was off work for a whole year on workman's comp. So uh, I'll have him do a testimony of that coming up real soon. So uh, all of you can hear his testimony and the miracles that God performed in his body during that time.